Hi! Hello! It is a Shrimp Chew. Today we are making five sims based on Dragon Age Origins characters because that is where my nostalgia is taking me for the last few months. I've been replaying the whole franchise because, well, okay, I went back when I like started Inquisition, got like 18 hours into it, and then just, I don't know if I got distracted by life or what because it's been too many years. I don't remember. So at this point I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, take this opportunity to replay the whole franchise because it's been forever. It's been quite nice. It's been like a beautiful nostalgic where I don't remember things well enough to be like, oh yeah, this is what's gonna happen. Like I remember the big things and that's about it. I don't remember the journey. So it's as good as playing for the first time as I was gonna get for Origins and 2. And now I'm on Inquisition. And I'm like, oh, new, exciting adventures, things are beautiful, and if you want the shameless self-promo, um, if you go to my Twitch and you want to watch someone who's uh, experiencing Inquisition for the first time and is mostly spoiler-free, because seriously, all I know, all I know is I'm wary about Solus, but I don't know why. I'm not even sure if I should be wary about him or if it's just, I just, the vague things I've seen around the internet that haven't told me anything have just made me go, I should be wary, yes, but I don't know why or if accurate. But that's enough of that Inquisition. We can talk more about that for one when I'm further through the game. Although, oh boy, I'm about to go to an oasis that's very intriguing. And for two, I'll probably make, you know, some of the Sims in their own video from Inquisition. Because, oh boy, looking for the custom content for Origins, I think there's uh, more out there for Inquisition, surprisingly. But as you can see, as I've been rambling, we have a Morrigan, and I'm quite excited because, you know, Morrigan, as you can see, has her whole custom content hair and her outfit. Uh, for most of these, I think it's a case of, like, someone who understands how game files works converted them, like, from the game? I don't really- I- not a clue how any of that works. But it's cool, it's awesome, and I'm very excited. Some of the characters do not seem to have anything out there for The Sims 4 for their Origins outfits. Some of them are wearing outfits from other games where applicable and some uh, don't have anything really. So there's a mixture of wearing other Dragon Age Origin clothes that kind of work and then there's the there was nothing even remotely similar so that sim question just gets a completely just Sims 4 outfit but it's okay because they all also get like a just in The Sims 4 normal outfit kind of thing going on. I'm also kind of intrigued to play with the Sims a bit because uh, I someone's made traits, they're like Mage Templar, X Templar, Grey Warden and I'm like intrigued to see how those will go in my game. Haven't had the time to test them out, just that along with some cool looking Grey Warden uh, like eye mode furniture and stuff. I'm like I would have tried this all out. If I remember correctly I think I included some of that towards the end. Um, ah yes, this part where I'm like, Morgan will have Morgan's outfit for everything and then everything else. We stuck to the purple, the black and purple theme. Um, for characters like Morgan who do appear like in Inquisition and such later, I will like come back to the sim and adjust outfit if needed or adjust face because like I said, these are all based on Origins. I base their features off of pictures of them in Origins. If their faces happen to look more detailed, which you know they do in uh, Inquisition, I am not against going back and changing that. But for now you have Origins graphics reference pictures and my beginner cast skills because I don't spend a lot of time like molding sims. I just go, yeah you'll do, let's get you a nice outfit. <laughs> That's me. But yeah, we have Liliana, and Liliana does have her Origins outfit. And I've never spent so much time staring at virtual eyebrows. <laughs> and eye color. You know what? The eye color was the worst. I just started going to Google, like, hey, character name, eye color. For some of them, it comes up. For others, I was like, yeah, so I took a guess. I took a guess. I'm sorry if you're actually the super expert on any character and you're like, no, that is the wrong eye color. But that's a simple problem to be fixed if you want these Sims be like unchanged eye color and the problem goes away it's all okay <laughs> i hope i hope i hope i hope i'm sad here like talk about dragon age dragon age is my brain but to be really honest with you 
I have I should I really probably would have benefited doing this closer to playing Origins because now that I've played two, I still just have two in the brain. Like I keep listening to that Age of the Dragon song, Miracle Sounded. I bought a freaking art print of Fenris. I'm like, Dragon Age Two is living rent free in my brain, particularly strongly, and I'm quite okay with this. You know, aside from the part where you go through the game being like wanting to bonk the mages and templars' heads together and be like, stop. But you know, the characters are awesome and I wish to hug them all forever and ever. <laughs> yeah, that's where my Dragon Age brain is. I have bought the, uh, like, the set of like the first five graphic novels and I've added the books the set of Dragon Age books to my wish list, so I'm like, I'm going to dive into all the extra surrounding things slowly but surely, because I gotta get caught up if, you know, I want to go read that one that's uh, new with Fenris, because what bias towards favorite characters? But no, everything else does sound absolutely super duper interesting as well, do not get me wrong, I'm just slightly... <sighs> I don't know. I have I have a Dragon Age 2 fixation and I'm okay with that. I am quite okay with that. It just sort of amuses me um, because <laughs> if you'd asked me before which one of the, okay, of the like first two games, because obviously I haven't played Inquisitions, which of them were my favorite, like before this replay I would have went Origins, yeah. But now I'm like, it might actually be two. I mean, it's all pretty equal all the way. Like, Whichever one I'm playing is the one I'm most hyped about because that's just how I am. I'm like, the current thing I'm most excited about, but I love it all. I'm like, okay, man, okay, can we just blame Varric and his wonderful way of words? That's, that's probably it, right? I am so happy he's also an Inquisition companion. I, I'm basically living for his dialogue with... I mean any character, but him and Cassandra just walking around having the dialogue. It's like, you guys are secret besties, aren't ya? We're on Origins though. Okay, yes. Trying to do it. I feel like some Sims came out of this, like, pretty proud of town. But I was like, yes. I would look at that Sim and I'd know exactly who it's meant to be. Granted, greatly helped by when we literally have their same hair and outfit. But I'm like, I feel like... Yeah, yeah, I did a real good attempt at facial structure and it worked. And then there's some other sims where I'm like, I'm trying. I made an attempt. I like to believe you can sort of see where I was going, but I think it, it's just, it's just, some sims come out better than others and that's okay. What we're not gonna talk about though is <laughs> Inquisition Alistair. Okay, we do kind of have his outfit from Inquisition because apparently there isn't I couldn't find anything origins -y for him, but I'm just like, don't worry, before we even got to the first point you see Alistair briefly in Inquisition, I, I got some mods to be like, slightly more Alistair-like. Because I, I saw a picture and I went, N who, how, how, that is not Alistair. I, I don't care how much people can change in 10 years. It's a bit more kind of like, I, I didn't realize plastic surgery existed in Thedos, but I mean, I'm sure with magic, Yes, it totally would, just not as we know it, but still, <laughs> still. I should also point out, because you can totally see down there at the bottom, someone made a Mabari for The Sims, um, and it's in this household, because I was like, yes, I want to try that out. I say try that out, like it's a dog, and it, we know how dogs function in The Sims 4, but it's, you know, we have our own Mabari. Yes, I want that. That and, you know, the Great Warden uh, custom content and such related things I mentioned earlier. There's also like models of the dog, so you can just have this dog, like a Mabari lying by inside your fireplace, whatever. Like it's just it's just a little statue, but it's, it is the dog's model from Origins or two. I don't really remember. I looked a lot of Dragon Age custom content. You don't want to see my um, window that's for this project. <laughs> I'm quite grateful Google Chrome at whatever point added in a little like group tabs together thing because I literally have like a group that's all the origin ones and the two ones, the Inquisition ones, and I haven't even found all the Inquisition ones because I was like, well, I'm going to come back to that because I'm kind of drowning in custom content. <laughs> Slightly. Slightly. I also might revisit this, this, because we're getting more hair colors, more natural hair colors in the Sims and I might see if one of the like, the ons might work better for this because I just feel like the Sims 4 default hairs are not going to work for Alistair's hair color. Like, 
there isn't a good in between. It's not happening. But we can try. I say we can try. <laughs> uh, I'm just recording this at like 20 past 3 in the morning because, well, partially because I just really want to get this done. I'm like, it's been sat here just waiting for narration. I say that. I started it like. I did like some of the sims like one weekend and then the others like this weekend and now I'm like I will narrate this and get it done. But also I was like slightly intimidated because it's like 17 minutes and I'm not used to really doing that in terms of my sim stuff because you know we know I'm more of a builder and the longest of those like tends to be maybe 12, 13 as the average longer ones. Sure maybe some are pushing more than 15, 17 but generally speaking it's pretty okay. It's pretty uh not this long. Speaking of pretty, hi, there's Wynn. Wynn is the one where it's like, I got some other Origins custom content, but it's not her outfit. We tried. Also, I, I, I'm very amused that she's just named for the place she was found. Like, Wang Wynn. Wynn. It's one way to name someone. Like, she lucked out. Like, Wynn's a pretty name. It could have been so much worse, you know? What would they have called her if she was from, like, Lothering? She could have been named Loth. Ring? Ring wouldn't be- I mean, Ring could have a ring to it. <laughs> wouldn't be the worst. But you know, as a concept, naming it after places could get iffy. Hi, I'm just vibing to the music. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Who have we left to- Yeah, it's- we finished Win, and then we have Saffron, and I'm kind of like- how long did we spend on Severin? <laughs> Probably longer. Like I said, some of the some sims came out a bit easier in the trying to make them look slightly like themselves kind of way. But you know what, you gotta just accept that like it's a different game with a different graphical style. Like it's always gonna probably never look perfect perfect. And an account that I'm not the most experienced with going in depth in Cass, which is fine. There is always room for improvement. Everything is a work in progress. I'm just rambling because I want to make certain that that's like everybody starts somewhere kind of thing and not a boohoo self-depreciation thing. You know what? If, if you made it this far, you're, you're, you get a cookie. You get an extra cookie. Anyone who's stuck for the first five minutes, you get a cookie. Anyone still here, you get another cookie. I don't make the rules. I also don't hand out the cookies. Um, Hamble probably has them. Nothing would go wrong. Nothing at all. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh no, yes. If you're still here, like, who's your favorite Origins character? Let's, yeah, feel free to talk Dragon Age at me in the comments. I I'll thrive for it. It's like I'm talking to my friend in work about Dragon Age a lot. He's been replaying as well. So he's on Origins. He's like talking about Awakening and stuff. And he got like a bug in Awakening and had to restart. And it's like, oops. He's also much better at remembering lore and stuff. So he's just, he's one of those people that can really like talk and like off the top of their head is like pulling all of the lore and like fan theories and things on like anything coming out. And I'm like, huh, remembering things. That's neat. <laughs> I'm more of the, okay, characters are in place and they have this kind of story and um, vaguely remembers this lore, but let me Google the thing to make sure I'm definitely saying the right thing and not getting things muddled or confused because my memory likes to do that. Which is fine. It means I get to relive things. There's, there's, there's pros and cons to everything. Oh boy, Severin. Severin, we look at, somebody uh, converted his hair and his facial tattoo. If you're like panicking through me making him, don't worry, I don't forget about the facial tattoo. I just add it at the end because I almost forgot and I was like, what's missing? And I was like, oh, yes, something very important and obvious. Good job, shrimp. And as you can see, there's a little bit of fenris in there. I'm excited to get to the uh, second, second Dragon Age, Dragon Age 2, you might say in that order, Sims video, because I'm definitely making one for two. And almost definitely for Inquisition, because I don't see any reason not to do a complete set. I just, I need to check out the custom content out there. But if worse comes to worst, you know, we'll we'll do a Severon and be like, 
just make them look like them and then be like, hey, here's your nice modern outfit because, you know what, Severin's just a adventurous, fashionable elf. He's like, I don't need my old outfit. I'm going to just have all of the new wardrobe. That's exactly how this went. It has nothing to do with not having his outfit for Sims 4. Hmm, nothing at all. What? Stop looking at me like that. You believe me, right? Right? I do feel like I'm just happy with the Sims in general. I'm like, I stuck to their little color themes and I like to hope they wouldn't totally hate the outfits I gave them entirely, you know? There's a, there's a little element of each of them that I think they vaguely appreciate. I'm not claiming to be a perfect styler, I'm just saying I tried and it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, right, see? The fact that this is a YouTube video and I'm talking to myself and don't know anything anyone would say in response to that, I can just be like, yeah, we all agreed that that, that, that is indeed correct. It was right, yeah. Just insert Cheshire Cat Grin here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if, you, like I said, if you want to catch me playing Inquisition, feel free to check me out on Twitch. I'm just shrimped you on Twitch as well, and I have plenty of other content. It's mostly horror games and sim things at the moment. Like I recreated the house from Pokemon recently. I'm playing flash horror games. Uh, if this comes out when I think actually my last Sims video was making the bunker from the TV show Supernatural because I finally finished that build that I absolutely underestimated. <laughs> but I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye!